We present the case of an 82-year-old man with massive jaundice due to an extensive introductal mass at the level of the bifurcation indicated by the black arrow. The lesion was considered unresectable and the patient agreed to undergo palliative local ablation with cholangioscopic argon plasma coagulation. Here we perform cholangioscopy with an ultra-slim gastroscope. The endoscope is advanced into the distal common bile duct through the incised papilla, and here we see the cystic duct branching off the common bile duct. At the level of the bifurcation, we find this massive adenomatous lesion that produces large amounts of mucus. Upon sectioning, there is also pus pouring out of the proximal biliary tree. Have a close look at the surface of the neoplasia. It looks like a villous adenoma and does not reveal characteristic features of malignancy. Here we see significant obstruction of the left and right hepatic duct at the confluence. In a next step, we perform APC with a VO Erbe system for destruction of the neoplasia. Doing so, we have to implement strict safety measures to minimize the risk of perforation in this palliative setting. First, we have to limit our energy delivery. In this case, we choose 30 watts. However, you see that this setting still allows effective ablation of the neoplasia with the APC probe. Here, we already advanced the endoscope into the right hepatic duct proximal of the neoplasia. You can see that chronic obstruction led to the formation of these small black stones. We slowly withdraw the endoscope, and here we find the proximal edge of the lesion. You can see that APC allows well-controlled ablation of the villous neoplasia. Keep in mind that during APC, critical amounts of gas and smoke are generated. We have to make sure that this gas is suctioned away in between APC applications. This is already a nice result with subtotal ablation of the lesion. Look, we successfully reopened both ducts for optimal drainage of the biliary tree. There were no procedure-related complications. Immediately after the procedure, the patient's condition improved and jaundice resolved. Biopsy specimen confirmed low-grade villous adenomatosis of the bile ducts without malignancy.